from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English, winner of the Southern Oregon Television Award for Program of the Year and the award for Best Educational Program. I'm the host and producer, John Letts. Ramping Up Your English is an educational support program for intermediate English learners. It's a program for people from all language backgrounds. Ramping Up Your English is also for people of all ages. If you've already passed the beginning stages of learning English and want to reach higher levels of proficiency, this program is designed to meet your needs. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our current thematic unit is animals. This is segment one of episode 49. In a previous episode, we described a black bear using a familiar animal to which to compare it, and then listed that what's different about it, that, that animal. We added some other physical features of black bears. Today, we're gonna to look at two more bears those being the grizzly bear and polar bears. Now watch carefully in the following video clip and start noting how these bears are different from black bears and from each other. Here's the video clip. Peering at this grizzly bear sow, I realize this is the closest I've ever been to one of these powerful mammals. My lack of fear is explained by the presence of an electric fence between me and the bear, plus the knowledge that this grizzly bear was saved by a rehabilitation center and has lived with people for years. Still, I'm grateful for the fence. The rehabilitation center is Wildlife Images, located in Josephine County near the town of Merlin, Oregon. While this grizzly bear lacks nothing in size or strength, it's smaller than the Bruin, the male grizzly. Despite a smaller size, a grizzly sow is far more dangerous than a male. Grizzly sows are well known to be extremely protective of their, their young, their cubs. That's where most attacks on people take place, when someone comes between a sow and her cubs, or at least in her perception, too close for comfort. This sow has no cubs, so that's another reason that videographer Gary Mark Roberts and I feel relaxed videotaping her. Grizzly bears are also called brown bears. Notice the wide forehead and those huge claws. Also the long shaggy fur and the prominent hump above the shoulders. I'm a respectable distance from this grizzly bear sow in the wild. If you look closely, you can see her cub coming in and out of view a distance behind her. This is in Denali National Park in Alaska. Grizzly bears catch and eat migrating salmon when they can. This brown bear in Alaska moves toward the water's edge. It's too early for the salmon run, but it digs into the bank to get what it can. Here are more of the grizzly bear's adaptations. They, they have very sharp teeth, so they can rip, off, so they can rip the meat off the fish. Um, and they have a long time in denning for their babies, and they usually give birth to twins. Bears don't seek out people as prey. Most bear attack victims surprise a bear accidentally, or they come too close to a bear's cub. Farther north in Alaska lives the polar bear. They live in the Arctic ice cap called tundra. They can eat up to 150 pounds of blubber a day. Um, they have 42 teeth. Um, polar bears swim so they can find new ice. They usually go to a seal's breathing hole and when they, and the seal comes near, um, the polar bear pops up and just grabs it. 
While polar bears are hit hard by climate change, grizzly bears are endangered by habitat fragmentation and loss. So, what did you notice about grizzly bears and polar bears? Well, let's go back to the image of the black bear to start with. We compared a black bear to an impossibly large dog in our previous episode. Now we're looking at the wide, muscular rump above the hind legs. We're looking at its entire body as it moves, seeing those thick legs and massive paws. We're noting a highly oval shape, are there any other features you remember from describing a black bear? For purposes of comparison, we'll remember the color of the bear we just saw in the video clip. It's important to note, however, that black bears can have a range of colors, from jet black to blonde. We'll use this image to contrast black bears with grizzly bears and polar bears when we return. Namaste. I'm Kumud and I have this my cooking show. I'm doing the show since 17 years and my specialty is to use lots of vegetable, usual and unusual and uh, uh, grains, lot of uh, many kind of beans and I teach how to make uh, ghee, how to make yogurt, how to make raita, and I use all these beautiful spices which are really health giving. I use lots of fresh ginger and garlic and little bit of jalapeno. And to please keep attending my cooking classes. And um, uh, for my book, you can go through Amazon or you can buy from Co-op or Bloomsbury Bookstore or from me and for classes and more inquiry you can call my cell phone number 541-864-9620. You'll learn so many beautiful things. You'll love it, love it, love it. Attend the class. Thank you. Namaste.